Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down some popper slivers we're up against Night Chugger and uh, Unkeepable Hand. Gotta love it, the trend continues. Um, ooh, well, hmm. Yeah, we'll keep. We'll, uh, we'll test out the Survivor's Encampment a little bit, see how well it does. Um, hmm. I think I'm gonna dump the Sidewinder. So maybe, at the very least, I can just get in for double poisonous in the air. Sounds reasonable. Let's see what we're up against, though. Green. I was just up against Mono Green Stompy. I, I don't think I'm going to post it, because it was one game that was like two minutes long, and they messed up quite badly with a uh, Savage Swipe on their Nettle Sentinel, trying to kill both my creatures. And in the end, it killed uh, both my creatures and their creature, and it wasn't pretty, so they conceded in shame, unfortunately, and they didn't want to rematch. So let's see what we're doing here, though. Arbor Elf uh, could be some ramp. Yep, looks like we're just ramping. Gives us a second to set up and uh, hopefully find a plane somewhere along the line, so we don't have to worry about survivors encampmenting everything. They just. Uh, did a good chunk there with that. Hitting blue on it. Interesting. Oh boy. Wow, they're going for it on this, huh? Good for you. Good for you. Well, if they can't kill my wings, we might actually be in pretty good shape to swing overhead and do what I was saying. So... Gonna tap for white. And yeah, scare him a little bit with this double poisonous. If they don't play anything crazy, I think I'll just drop Lord first, swing in, uh, make them crap their pants a little bit. And then next turn, when they think they maybe have sa are safe or have some creatures out that can help them block, we'll just sail overhead with the winged. Here comes a spell. Mole Drifter, okay. Card draw is insane. That will start blocking our stuff, but we do have a Sidewinder. So it's not going to be super effective. You going to do your own Tappy Tap? What else you got in your hand that you can play? All right, passing. More lords is fine with me. Let's get in there, shall we? It's a gnarly attack. Oh, and they're taking it all. Six poisonous. Holy cow. All right. They need to get blockers if they want to survive. Is this draw a card? No, just gives them the additional, but it doesn't draw a card. Here comes another Mully D, maybe. Oh, oh, it's got reach, too. Oh, oh. Oh, it's this combo. Okay. It's um, Defender combo. Doesn't have reach. Can block, can block. We're going to tap one. Hmm. We need like a one drop? No. Hmm. Oh, he's swinging. Oh, we won. Okay. He's bold. That was very bold. You just lost the game because of that. Ugh. Yeah. You just lost the game because of that. Alright, let's uh, give him our old one-two punch here, shall we? See that? That's called flying. 
All of them got flying. Block one, still take four. That was a good trap. Uh, that was unfortunate. They could have survived one more turn if they had uh, just kept Molly D around. So let's go to the sideboard. We know what we're up against now. The combo mambo. Oh, let me think. What do I need for this deck? Gleeful could be nasty if they're really trying to ramp, so I guess we could bring that in. Striking, I think we can do without. Sentinel, I would like to kind of leave in. We can cut one winding way. Do I need anything else for the combo wombo? Man, I'm forgetting the cards in it. I'm just going to run it like this. That took them a while to get there, though. Quite a while. I think they had some really bad draws, obviously, but... Another su Survivor's Encampment again? That's rough. Yeah, I mean, we can we can still work with it. Um, I mean, it is helping us, but I don't think it's helping us in, like... I guess, I guess it is helping us. It is a good... Uh, I guess it would be worse if this was, like... Nah, it really wouldn't be that bad of a hand, even if it was any other... Uh, land so but hey we're seeing we're seeing the encampment get some usage so they're just gonna wild growth and we're gonna start our good stuff here so start with sidewinder go sidewinder into sentinel so we can keep swinging and then maybe we'll go gem hide into uh yeah, we'll, de well, we definitely want to go gem hide soon, but I think next turn we'll still go Sentinel. There's the Guardian. Maybe it doesn't matter that much. Predatory. So what can we do here? trying to think if there's um, a better play or not. Let's just get set up with the Sentinel. And uh, Sidewinder's not going to do much here, so we'll go ahead and pass. I mean, once we get our gem hide down, then we're free to do some more stuff, so... Nice refill on the way. We got two lords. I'm feeling pretty good. A winged for later. Molly. Molly D is in the battlefield. Ralph is going to help them, but they are at two cards. So, as long as they don't start hitting some more card draw, I think we'll be okay. I wish I could play this less awkwardly. Conversely, we could do... You know what? I might actually do that. So here's what I'm thinking. Because in order to play Gem Hide right now, we have to tap one of our guys for green. And then we just have one available mana up to play something and we don't have anything. So I think I'm just going to go Lord... Um, swing, get some damage in on them, and then next turn we can uh, start setting up harder with the gem hide. The gem hide will make more sense on the next turn. Slam just a bunch of stuff and uh, start getting going for it. Plenty of mana. I 
Can they get their cascade going? That's the question. Looks like they can. Here come the pirates. Yep, boarding party. They had a wild growth. That's fine. Could have been worse. But are you going to swing? I don't know about all that. Yeah, I'm just going to block. Sorry, Sentinel. But I think this just makes sense. They have one card in hand. We can just take that out right now and not worry about it. All right, let's, uh, we're in the same spot as last time, so we kind of we got reset a little bit. So let's go ahead and just get another guy down and get in. Just going to keep pressuring. Oh, they're taking the six? Okay. Survivor's encampment. It's actually working out somehow. We're not drawing the lands, but we haven't needed it yet. We've been doing all right. What do you got? Another boarding? Molly D. Okay. That'll get him somewhere. Tinder wall. It deals two damage to target creature it's blocking. Okay. There's the boarding party. All right, cascade into nothing. Come on. That's not nothing. That's card draw. And they can still untap with Arbor Elf. They got a land. So they have two cards, two unknowns. Wow, everybody's calling me right now. Will they swing? They will swing. I'm going to take the hit on this one. Where am I? Yeah, I'm going to take the hit on this one. Because they are close to dead. Really. <laughs> Alright, they're just going to moment's piece right now. Alright, that's fine. I was planning on getting set up with the gem hide anyways. Alright. There you go. Hey, I wasn't even going to attack this turn. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Alright. Well, where can we go from here, huh? What else you got for me? Don't tell me you got another Molly D. Ooh, taking life? Mm, oh yeah, I forgot that cost three life. You gotta do what you gotta do. Utopia draws a card. What are they calling with it? Red? So maybe they got another boarding party? I still gotta be careful though. I gotta be really careful. At any point I could just slam this winged. Another card draw. They're searching. They're searching for it.
Did they find it? Were they one mana short? Uh-oh. Are you short for something? I don't think you'd be. Should be able to play everything. Boarding six. Um, I forget what the dinosaur is. I think they kind of screwed themselves with paying that three life, though. Do I even care? You can hit me for eight. They need an extra six to do something. If they get me here, then GG's to them. I don't think they can, though. I think this is just their, you know, their try it swing. <laughs> their uh, we lost swing. <laughs> oh, yeah, they still got the moments piece. I forgot about that. Duh. That's fine. Um, let's see. What else do we want to do here? We could do a lot. We could do a lot. Oh, uh, let's, uh, actually, let's cancel, undo, cancel, I'm going to do it with this guy, actually, that was stupid of me, too, hold on, undo, 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 all right, doing it like this, just in case we need that survivors in camera, I don't think we will, but... You never know. Uh, we can go like, uh, like this. Now I guess we'll use this creature. Another flanking. Sure. And that's a that's a nice board, that's for sure. Uh, can we afford to just drop the winged and just empty our hand? Nah, I'm gonna leave it. Um, I'd rather just drop this on them when they least expect it. Maybe they'll make another mistake. Oh, they have two moments pieces though. That is really annoying. I'm just going to try to use my sidewinders as blockers, honestly. Another Mully D, but... Alright, see, this is where we do want to just get the winged out. So we can start blocking these Mully Ds. lead all right that's actually pretty good for them now i'm getting concerned because <laughs> they there is a world in which they could hmm, is there a world i wonder I'm trying to think if there's a way they can give all their creatures haste and just drop a trample on us and i think we still have enough to block though they would literally have to hit like another molly d and give all their creatures haste and then they could get us and then i would regret not playing the winged other than that, I think we're all right. All right, he got his trampler. Into another lead. That's gnarly. That's actually gnarly. They did get the crashing drawbridge. But they did not get another Mully D yet.
Yeah, I guess get in there while you can. I love how they're just popping this straight away. They're not waiting for the attack. They're not waiting for anything. They're just like, boom, I'm casting it. All right, that's one of them gone. And we got a Jemmy. Cool, let's just uh, play these guys out. Oh, we'll go like this. Oops, cancel. Did I hit the wrong one? And we'll uh, we'll just put this guy out too. Why not? All right, we've got plenty of blockers. And they've got eight cards, <laughs> which is insane. Everybody can have haste now. Could, we might be able to just die here, right? Let's see. Arbor Elf, sure. I'm actually really concerned if they can get enough out here. Yup. I feel like, did we already know about this lead the stampede? We might have. Another drawbridge. That's our other axe bane. Untap. Get us some more mana. Topia. Yep, and they can always... Give haste, get this Arbor Elf going to just keep replaying stuff. Oh, we ran out of music. So we're sideboarding in uh, Flaring Pain if it goes to game three. Looks like it probably will. They got so much going on here. Oh! That's lovely. Holy cow. Alright, that guy's done. What do they hit with this? Overgrown Battlement, sure. That's why I'm thinking we already knew about the lead the Stampede. Let's see. Molly D. Alright, yeah, we knew about it. Let's see, can we look at the board here? <laughs> Holy cow. That's insane. Just to give you a better idea of what's going on. Haste, yep. Yeah. 
What else are you going to swing with? Annihilator 2. Good. Oops. Undo. Say OK. Say goodbye. Goodbye to our lands. And let's start blocking, shall we? All right, so. We just have to chump block you. This has trample. I'm going to lose a little bit. What else you got? Do you got anything else? Okay, we go to two. Come on. There we go. All right. This is crazy. This is crazy. Please pop it right away. <laughs> Please pop it right away. I love that he's doing that. Oh, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Did he just screw himself? Oh, he did. Oh, he did. <sighs> he did screw himself. Didn't he? He did. Yeah, he did. He has no more mana. All these guys... All these guys lost their haste at the end of the turn. And they have no more mana for the... Moments piece. Ah! Oh no! I wonder if they misplayed that somehow. Because didn't they double crashing drawbridge? They hit one and then they hit the other. And they should have waited. So they should have hit one. Played out as much as they could. And then waited till my turn to do the other one. So they could have more mana with Guardian and Arbor and all that stuff. But instead I think they, got, they might have gotten greedy. I have to go back and watch exactly the... Um, how it worked with what they drew into. They may have needed the extra drawbridge to, in order to like pressure me enough, maybe. But yeah, at the end of the turn, they lose the haste again, which I'd, I'd forgotten about, honestly, that once it passes back to me, drawbridge doesn't uh, affect it anymore. So yeah, they were essentially tapped out. They had one green mana up and not enough flyers. I wasn't really worried. Because we could still, I mean, they just have a bunch of defenders, and we can block their Mully Ds. So let's just see what else before the game ends here. Oh, did it do it? Dang it. I want to see what else we would. We would have gotten a Viverlin. You know that they were going to pop the Moments piece right away on the first beginning of the turn, which don't do that. Wait till combat to do that, just in case. Whatever else happens, you know. Um... I wish I could have seen the next card. I should have been quicker on that because I wanted to see where we would have stood after that. We would have been in a little bit of standstill. We could have pressured them enough. They wouldn't have had any moments peace left. They would have come down to their next turn and if they would have been able to 
establish a new chain of combos and cascades to try to regain more pressure on us. Uh, which, because at that point they just had Mully D's to swing in the air, but we had flyers. So I think it was coming down to the next two turns that we could have won anyways. Uh, but yeah, they tapped themselves out. They couldn't do the moment's piece. Wow. Good game. It's always weird playing against uh, the defender combo, but it is a lot of people have been playing it. It's been interesting. So that was a fun one, though. I'm glad uh, we didn't just concede off the dot. Uh, I didn't think they'd be able to cascade into enough to make us go to, to lethal. We had so many blockers. All those five fives were just insane. So, wow. Leave a like if you enjoyed that one. That was awesome. And make sure to subscribe. Support the channel. Trying to hit 1K. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned for more Slivers, more Call of Duty, and Sunday Booster Crack Kings uh, on Sunday, obviously, because it's Sunday Booster Crackings. But, yeah, uh, until next time, we'll see you in the next vid.